Hello guys, today we're going to learn how to use the virtual input output core. The, we are, in future videos, we're going to also to learn how to create test benches, write our own models in Verilog. But today I want to show an important concept. How to test your design already in the board. I mean, you have a design there and you want to verify if the, the design is working as you wish on the board. Okay, so let's start it. Okay, the idea is that we are going to attach the virtual input output core in our FPGA along with, for instance, the Lab1 and we are going to use the JTAG interface to create stimulus to our, to our FPGA core okay? and this uh, guy will also read the outputs of this, uh, of this design so basically the idea, use the JTAG interface to uh, create and read signals from your the previous design. Okay. Uh, after okay, if you guys would like to remember, this is the JTAG cable, and this, for instance, is a board connected through the JTAG cable. Okay. The JTAG cable have a USB interface which you use to connect to your computer, and the whole idea is that through the GUI or through a TICO script, you're going to control and test if your design is working as expected. I'm going to switch now to the lab and let's start. Okay, we start by opening the lab one and uh, we're going to change the, the design blocks. Okay, the, we go to open design and uh, the whole idea is that we're going to add a virtual input output core that is going to control the input of this circuit there and also gather the outputs. Here we just add in the VIO and uh, after we add is we need to configure to have uh, three output ports and one input port. Now we just change the design to receive the inputs from our VIO and uh, to gather the result of the circuit also to the input of the VIO. Uh, one important point to note is that the VIO uses a clock signal. In this case, uh, as we are using the Z board, we are going to use the pin uh, Y9 in the Z board and uh, we're going to make this connection in the constraint file. Now we just create uh, an external port to the clock and in our constraint file we're going to connect this port CLK to the pin Y9. There. Now we connect Y9 to the, to the port clock and uh, we configure the, the voltage level as well. So just to organize, we put uh, in the different section. And uh, guys, that's it. We are ready to create our bit stream and uh, then we're going to program our FPGA and uh, let's see the results. By the way guys, I'm accelerating the video, okay? The, the implementation and the creation of the bitstream takes way longer. Here I'm just going to open the implemented design just to show a little bit how much gates the VIO core uses. Okay, you can see that it uses some gates. It's not so much, but uh, it's, it's really good if you want to test your design uh, before you went to the production. It's a, it's a very good design flow. Okay, now we're going to open our, our hardware manager and we're going to program the FPGA. 
And uh, after the programmation is done, we should be able to see the VIO core available. And uh, from there, we, we're going to control our design. Okay? Just select the signals from the VIO and uh, drag and drop them in the VIO dashboard, this GUI there. And uh, from there, if you just click on the input and the output ports, you can control. You see? Yes, now I just add one and zero to the output core. I'm going to put a picture in picture just to show more or less in the board how it's going on. Ah, here I just change into display a kind of LED. It's also option just to to have a different representation. Okay, so uh, our picture in picture okay, show guys, now just more or less what what's off going on to the board. The output output. Okay, guys, so that's and, uh, it. Uh, see you guys in the next video where I'm going to talk a little bit more about Verilog now and I uh, hope you guys enjoyed.